G'day legends and welcome back to another episode of That Slot Car Guy News. I am back from Italy. I'm pumped and ready to get stuck in some news for a Tuesday. But before I do, a word from the official news sponsor. Today's news is proudly brought to you by Slot Mods, established in 2008. Makers of the finest slot car raceways in the world. Let's race. Welcome back to Legends to another episode and as always a massive thank you to the team at Slot Mods for allowing me to bring you the news regularly. Please check out their socials linked in the channel description and of course this video description. But whilst I was away in Italy, I did have some boots on the ground. Massive thank you to Slot Pixel. Please check out his YouTube channel. We bounce information back and forth. It is in Spanish. He's got over 7,000 subscribers, knows what he's doing, does news, reviews, and everything else in between, and he gets a lot of good news. And yes, we do work together off camera. He's an absolute legend. He had his feet on the ground at the IME, the Igualada Model Expo in Barcelona. It's hosted by, I believe, Foro Slot Barcelona. Really cool, some awesome items on the display, some new stuff coming. So we'll kick off with that. It's a little bit of a know, European special today. So let's check out some of the stuff from the IME model show brought to you by Slot Pixels and me. So to kick off with the IME news from the Model Expo on this weekend just gone in Barcelona, thank you very much to Slot Pixel for supplying the photos. We'll start with Hobby Classics. Now I do tell you every time I mention them, the website is awesome, but they also get stuck into some R&D. And they've got a joint car with Scarlotto. I believe Scarlotto and this Peugeot, they're doing a exclusive decoration on this car itself. So stay tuned for that. It's a joint thing with Hobby Classics and uh, scale order, really cool to see. The next car, car number two, I don't know what it is. I'm very good with car silhouettes normally. There's not many cars that I look at and go, I don't know what that is. I can't pick it, there's no badging. If you do know, let me know. The photo I received had no description. Uh, so that is the second car coming. But the third one I'm very excited about. Yes, it's only in kit form at the moment. Very, very early stages. It's a Pikes Peak hill climb style car. And I believe it will be shown off at the next Foro Slot event. I believe that was October or November. I'm not 100% sure of the dates. Please check out Slot Pixel's latest video. I believe is releasing it today. That is the IME event. There'll be more information. Turn on the English captions. So three cars from Hobby Classic. Check them out. Wait for these guys. They're making some really incredible stuff, but also check out their stuff for sale because they find some vintage gold. So next up we have Model Lance showing an absolutely stunning Ferrari 250 Testarossa at the IME show. I can't wait to see this thing. Model Ant do make some beautiful cars and this one is no exception. And I love seeing some old Ferraris done. So if you are a Ferrari fan, like MP Slot Car, this one's gonna be right up your alley. So stay tuned for this one. Once I get more news on release dates, I will let you know. But a beautiful Ferrari. So next thing like Model Ant. So next thing long. So next we have some news so we have from Scar Slot. We've got some prototypes so next on display the at the IME the event. These are the escorts the looking news. really really uh, cool, but they also had a list of cars as you can see on the table that looks like their future projects. Now I have shared this photo before, I know these cars are being made. Now this is the they snuck it in the table, so expect some more beauties from them. But yeah, some little pieces from Team Slot, really cool show. I can't wait to see what they do with these escorts. Very cool, but again, so next up, two cars from a fly slot. One for the Aussies, when you first see it, you'll think, why is this? So next up, we've got some news from If you take a close look, it is the London to Sydney. Now I'm guessing, I don't know the history of this car, I must have done we a drive around London on a boat then to Sydney or a plane. Uh, really, really cool. If you do know the history, let me know. But anything it mentions Australia or any states that are in Australia, of course, I'm a big supporter of. So really cool. Then we do have another Renault Turbo 5. I love this car. I love this mould. There's a little bit of news at the end. Uh, you should stay tuned for about fly slot. But really cool. They've got another Renault 5 coming. I have a fair collection of Renault 5s. Is this a must for me? I don't know because they've got a fair few liveries this year. So we have two cars from Fly Slot, one for the Aussies, one for the Renault fans. So next we have Avant Slot showing off some of their to come cars. The BMWs are looking really good. The Transporter, each time we see it, it's getting better and better. I believe we've already seen photos of this one close up, but here we have it on display. It looks really, really cool. And of course we have the Nissans, which is highly anticipated for me and probably more in my price range. That hauler, I got a funny feeling is gonna be worth a fair penny, but so it should, there's a lot of detail on it. So there you go, Avant Slot on show. Uh, which one's your favorite of the lot? Mine's a 240, but I am excited to see the hauler, but they are showing it, so it's coming very, very soon. 
So next up, we've got some news from Scale Auto. This is the first snippet of the news. We do have them popping up again throughout the IME special. We have the Acuras on display. Now they were in their cases. As you can see, the paint job looks very fresh. They look really, really cool. I can't wait to see the finished products. So if you are waiting for the Acura, the NSX, there it is. It was on display. It is coming. But again, we have some more Scale Auto news coming up. So next we have some more info from Scale Auto from the IME show. Now we did see a majority of these from the Slot Car Festival. These were also on display at the IME show in Barcelona. Uh, really cool to see some of the Le Mans cars. Uh, there was a question during the week about some of the new Hyper Le Mans cars, who's making them, is the Peugeot coming? I did answer that with a photo, and here's the confirm again that the Peugeot is being done by Scale Auto. We've got some 124 stuff in there. Really cool to see. I did say they are one of the busiest guys and girls in the slot car world at the moment. They're producing a lot of stuff. So we have some more prototypes on display. Again, I think I did see all of these at the UK Fest, but this is just a re-show that they are coming, and they were at Barcelona. So next up, Sideways, they had the BMW on display. I'm a huge fan of this car. Out of the Sideways cars that I know that are coming, which I shared on the last news video, if you didn't see it, please go back and watch it. This is probably my favorite. It looks aggressive. Now, I know there are gonna be race liveries on this, but please, if you are watching Sideways, do some standard colors. This in like a MAC or a gloss black would look absolutely epic. And I know a certain person we can go to for some rims to dress it up. So if you are watching uh, Sideways, please do some normal road car colors, but of course bring out the liveries, but this is definitely one of my favorites when it does come out. So next up, the most exciting news I received from the legend himself, Slot Pixel, whilst he was at the IME event, is from BRM. Now, if you don't know who BRM is, they make 124 scale masterpieces. You might have their sister company, which is Revo Slot, which is the 132 scale masterpieces, but these to me are absolutely epic. I love BRM. But I'm very excited. The three cars they showed give me a lot of hope for the future. Let's talk about the cars first, and then I'll give you the reasons why this has got me pumped. First one, the Porsche. <laughs> the Porsche in 124 scale. It's gonna blow my mind. That's a must for me. Can't wait to see the liveries, the finish on it. Hands down, oh, I can't wait. Next up, we have the Ford GT40. Again, <laughs> another masterpiece in 124 scale. Now, if you haven't gone 124 scale, please try BRM. Not paid or sponsored by them. They do give me a lot of joy. They are really cool cars. But the best of the best, I'll say for last. For me, I'm a JDM fan. The 240Z, it was there. Yes, it's early form, it's an early print, but we know we're getting it. I knew we were getting it. I did want to share the news that was shared with me in secret, but there it is on display and I cannot wait to see this. Why? Well, for this car, the liveries, the street car colors that they can come up with. I'm a huge JDM fan. I want to see Japanese cars, more of them getting produced in our slot car world because we do want that. But also in the future, BRM, if you're watching, and anyone else who's watching right now, please hit the comments, let me know. Would you love to see the BRE twin pack the 240z and the datsun 510 hopefully they make it in the future twin pack what's your thoughts brm please make the dado 510 it'll complement the 240z and you guys will take out slot car of the year for the next 10 years all right i've had enough i've said everything i need to say some exciting news from brm what's your thoughts are you excited as i am well, maybe a little bit too excited but that was the winner for me from the ime show so kicking off the regular car news, let's visit Carrera. Again, the social media team hitting it out of the park. Four of their soon to be released catalog cars on track. Talking about Carrera World, myself and Slot Car Dude will be there on the 19th of this month. I will do a full updated video of Carrera World. I did the under construction last August. I'll do a full updated video of what it looks like today or now. And of course, myself and Slot Car Dude will get up to some mayhem, some showdowns on the track. And let's see what else I can work out, maybe Maybe I can show some cars, who knows? I don't know yet. I'm just saying this. I hope they say yes. <laughs> there you go. Four cars from Carrera and a showdown with me and Slot Car Dude in the future. So next up, we've got Scarlet Trick showing off their Essex Police Livery Ford RS200. I saw the real police car there, and of course I saw the slot car there. Very exciting. Is available, so if you want this, jump on it. Also, I do want to do an announcement for them. There's been a bit of scamming going on, unfortunately using the Scalatric name. They do have a competition running at the moment and some people are falling for some fake Scalatric accounts. So please be aware of this. Uh, 
I will put the post up showing that they're explaining what's going on. They will never, and I'll say Scalish, it will never ask you for any personal details, credit cards, etc. If you do think it is a scam or it's not them, reach out to them and see if they have sent you a message. That's the best way to do it. But yeah, just be very careful because as soon as someone sees a competition's going on, we get these scammers who jump on and start replicating the same thing. So be very careful out there. And Scalatrick has jumped on it straight away, reported all these Facebook groups that are doing it and pages, and hopefully they can get to the bottom of it. But just be careful. If you think it's wrong, don't answer it and let Scalatrick know. Also some really cool news to share. Myself and Scalatrick behind the scenes are working on the final details on a free giveaway. If you haven't seen my video, I visit Scalatrick, please check it out because you might have a chance if you live in the UK to win tickets to go visit Hornby and the Scalatrick Museum, the Hornby Museum. Really, really cool to see some items that I got me sort of ready for the UK slot car festival. So please check out the video. The final details are to come. So once we've nutted that out, I will release the giveaway video, but it will be definitely only available to UK people. So please stay tuned and hopefully you watch the video and you like what you see because you might have a chance to go. So next up, Pendle Slot showing off their Ford Transit kit in kit form and also in the beautiful finished product. Yeah, Pendle Slot do kits. If you did not know this, check out their website. They've got a lot of kits on offer. I saw a full stand full of Pendle Slot kits and they are incredible, but the Ford Transit is available. Check that out. I do have a prototype of their F2 stock car to build, so stay tuned for that one, but the Ford Transit is available. So next up for you scratch builders out there, another kit from Pete Shepard, Racing Replicas. I was lucky enough to meet the legend himself, hold some of his kits and see some of his work. Now you can buy the raw form of the Cobra, or of course you can get Pete to do a commission build for you. Really well done by himself, worth every penny. I'm a big supporter of scratch building, a big supporter of Pete. So if you are a scratch builder, if you want a commission build done, check out Racing Replicas. And I think this Cobra might be right up your alley. So next up, some premium HO Gold from Bauer, and this Ford Capri is no exception. And the reason I smile when I talk about Bauer, they are very, very small, but they are massive on detail, and it's exciting to see something so small with all that detail. So there you go, a stunning Capri from Bauer. If you don't know who Bauer is, they've got multiple brands under their banner, and they also bring Auto World into Europe, which is really cool for us HO lovers. So one from Bauer. So that's a wrap on today's episode of That Slot Car Guy News for a Tuesday. And as always, a massive thank you to the legends, Slot Mods, for allowing me to bring you the news regularly. Please check out their social links linked in the channel description, and of course, this video description. And a massive thank you to the legend, Slot Pixel. If you're not following him, subscribe. Please jump over there. You will get an IME video from him, the Barcelona Slot Model Show. I believe he's releasing that today. Go check it out. You can put on English subtitles. He does help out our channel, so please support him. Without him, I wouldn't have had any of those IME photos or information, and we do help each other out in the backgrounds, as should all channels. If you are a YouTuber in our space of slot cars, if you need any help with anything, please reach out. I do want to help every channel grow and grow the community together. So cheers to Slot Pixel, and hopefully I can pop over to his neck of the woods and maybe do a video together. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, if this is the kind of content you like, please consider subscribing. But be safe, take care, I'm back from Italy, support your local, ciao. Today's news is proudly brought to you by Slot Mods, established in 2008, makers of the finest slot car raceways in the world. Let's race.